There is the sun calling it a day. We see a few clouds there as we close the day, but it was a nice little view of color there at the sun horizon, at the horizon as the sun went below horizon, I should say. 72 was a low. 95 was the high, slightly below normal for this time of year. And after that run of 100 degree days, the hottest weather we have seen this year, it's nice to have a run of below normal temperatures, albeit just a few degrees below, but it's the sixth day in a row, and we might have seven tomorrow. That was rain overnight. It actually started last night and through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning, and it left a footprint of some pretty good rains from Palo Pinto down across Erath County. But those were the lucky people who got the rain. Everybody else, it's dry today. It'll be dry tomorrow with temperatures right back in the mid-90s. I'm telling you, tomorrow's a duplicate of today, including, like today, an ozone warning out. Ozone watch because of air quality problems you want to be inside during the afternoon hours if you have any kind of breathing issues. Those are the two potential hurricanes. We expect both to become hurricanes when they reach in the Gulf. Marco will probably become a hurricane tomorrow over the warm Gulf waters. Category one hurricane and forecast to strike Louisiana and then head towards us. So as it dies out, it might bring some much needed rain into North Texas. The rainfall potential, of course, is in Louisiana, Arkansas, Mississippi, but some areas around here could end up maybe with an inch of rain, mostly in our eastern counties. We'll keep you posted. The models have never seen anything like this, and quite honestly, over the last couple of days, they've been all over the place. But right now, we're thinking by Wednesday, that's the most effect by marker. We'll be in the low 90s with a 40% chance of rain, and then those rain chances will linger for a couple of more days.